What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna give you a quick little unboxing of my PS5 disc version. And um, now I know I'm a little bit late on this. I did get my PS5 on launch day, but better late than never. So I decided to make this a quick unboxing video and also go over the thermals against my water-cooled PS4 Pro. But actually, before we get started, I just wanna give you guys a quick little reminder that my giveaway video is live for my custom LED modified PS5 controller. So all you want to do is just go and go ahead and click that video, like the video, comment down below, and you'll be entered and all set and ready for that giveaway. So moving back onto the PS5 unboxing, I just wanted to give my quick impressions on the overall design. Now I do really like the design of this PS5, and I also like the color scheme as well. So I want you guys to stay tuned for my water-cooled PS5 video that should be out pretty soon. Now I'm thinking about keeping the overall same aesthetic with the black and white and blue. And without further ado, let's get going with the thermal testing. Now this first thermal test video is just going over the intake temperatures of the PS5. Now this is going to be the same virtually for all your PlayStation games. It basically depends on your ambient temperature of your room. So that's relatively gonna be the same throughout the course of this whole video, which is why I only measured it once. And moving on to the back of the PS5 itself, this is where the important temperatures are. As you can see here, Miles Morales with RTX on, I'm getting around 120. Highest I saw was around 123 degrees fahrenheit now moving away from a playstation 5 video game i'm gonna do a playstation 4 video game which is god of war as you can see here now my temperatures are roughly at about 100 degrees fahrenheit give or take on the on the exhaust end of the playstation 5 now moving on to the thermal test of god of war my water-cooled ps4 pro as you can see here i'm aiming the the heat gun directly towards the area of the apu of the ps4 pro itself and we're getting roughly around 90 to maybe around 98 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I want you guys to keep in mind that this is the actual temperature or close to the actual temperature of the APU itself. Now, as you'll notice, these temperatures are close to, to the temperature of the exhaust of the PS5, which I found very interesting because that's just showing how efficient that the, the water cooling mod did to the PS4 Pro. And now moving down below to the intake and the exhaust temperatures, as you'll see here, it's at around 80 degrees to 84 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a big difference between the PS5 itself. Now I'm hoping in the future, I'll be able to do some thermal testing of the PS5 on the actual CPU slash GPU. But for now, I'm just gonna be able to just do the exhaust temperatures. Now for the next test is just a quick thermal test of the exhaust of the PS5 while playing GTA 5 for a little over an hour. As you can see here, I'm, I'm hitting roughly at around 97 to maybe around 100 degrees Fahrenheit on the exhaust. And now moving over to the thermal test on the water-cooled PS4 Pro with GTA 5. As you can see here, my actual APU temperatures is at around 93 to 94 degrees Fahrenheit, which is very similar to the exhaust of the PS5 itself. And then the exhaust of the PS4 Pro is at around 84 degrees. So that's just a little bit more evidence of how efficient the water-cooled PS4 Pro mod actually was. Next up, we have uh, Fortnite on PlayStation 5. As you can see here, my exhaust temperatures are hitting north of around 120 degrees Fahrenheit. As you can see, as you go up higher, you get us a little bit cooler, but as you get closer towards the bottom where the main heat sink is, you'll get hotter in the temperatures. And now moving over to the PS4 Pro water-cooled, you can see here my APU temperatures are close to around 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And then moving down to the intake and the exhaust of the water-cooled PS4 Pro, the temperatures are yet again at around 84, 85 degrees Fahrenheit, which is very consistent. And then one more PlayStation 4 game that I had that I can test on both the PS5 and the PS4 to, to give you guys both a good example is Infamous Second Son. As you can see here, my exhaust temps are at around 90 degrees. It's a little bit easier of a game for the PlayStation 5 to run, but I figured it would be a nice comparison with the PS4 Pro. And then moving on to the PlayStation 4 Pro again, as you can see here, we're sitting right at below 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And then same story again with the intake and the exhaust, it's around 84 degrees. Just as a little bonus, I just wanted to do a quick little exhaust temperature of the PS5 again with Call of Duty uh, Cold War with RTX on with the PS5. This is just to give a quick example of how hot the PS5 actually runs when you put the, the RTX on with ray tracing. So I'm actually looking really forward to water cooling the PlayStation 5 to see how low I can get these temperatures while gaming with RTX on. And before I head out on this video, I just wanna give you guys a quick reminder that these temperatures on the PS5 is the exhaust temperatures, not the actual APU temperatures. 
Now the main purpose of this video was just to give you guys a quick little demonstration of the temperatures of the PlayStation 5 versus the water-cooled PS4 Pro and I mainly wanted to just show you guys how efficient water cooling is with these consoles and I'm looking really forward to water cooling the PlayStation 5 so I just stay tuned for that. I'll have the, the videos out pretty soon. I'm going to be building my own custom case that you guys may be able to purchase. Maybe one day I'll actually give away a couple of cases so you guys can take a chance to do this on your own. And then eventually I'll want to give away a full water-cooled PlayStation 5 as well. But just a quick reminder, also when I hit 30,000 subscribers, I'm actually going to be giving away my water-cooled PS4 Pro. So I want you guys to keep sharing my channel to your friends, family, everyone, and um, help me get to 30k. And then... One of you guys can own this PlayStation 4 Pro. So let me know what you guys think. Comment, like, and subscribe. And thanks.